Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to create knurling in create parametric. So let's get started. Click on new path solid and click the default template and enter the path name. Click on OK. So here I am going to select the template as mm minus path solid. So at first I am going to create some solid model to insert knurling tool. So for that I am going to sketch the front plane go for the sketch view. I am going to use revolve tool for this. So at first I need to create some center line here. Then I am going to create line whether in dimensions first then we need to create some dimensions. So at first this height I am going to assign this as 200 then this length as 30 and this as 80 and this 30 and this 200. So then I am going to assign this length go for the dimension select these two lines I am going to enter a value of 15 here. So here at the top I am going to create some rounded feature like a ball shaped like this. So I am going to enter this diameter as value of 50. Let's delete the unwanted segment. So if we need some solid model by the revolve tool so we need to close all these edges. So let's close it. So then all our dimensions are entered successfully. So let's click OK. So let's go for the revolve. As you can see here our part is got created. So click on OK. So here our solid model is got created. So let's create some knurling view for this. So for that I am going to sketch this plane like front plane or right plane. So go for the sketch and go for the sketch. So here I am going to use some feature for this. So for that I need to create lines from which I need to create some learning point. So center line is must for the sweep tool. So then our parties are completed. I am going to click OK for this. So go for the sweep, helical sweep. So direction is towards upwards. Let's go for the sketch and sketch view. So here you can create any part like circle, triangle. So I am going to use a triangle tool for this because knurling is done by triangle tool. So let's create all the edges as equal edges. Then I am going to assign this length as 7. So then let's close this. So as you can see here helical sweep is got created. So let's give remove material. So let's increase this pitch value as we need only one curve. So I am going to increase this pitch value as 150. Yeah, it's okay for me. So then click on OK. So now our single sweep is got created. So we need to create like this like 30 numbers or 60 numbers. So I am going to mirror it first. Select this helical sweep. Go for the mirror, select this plane. As you can see here, the mirror part is got created. So click on OK. So now we need to pattern this curve and this curve. So at first, select the helical sweep pattern as an axis pattern. Select the axis and enter the numbers as 30. And the angle between is 360 divided by 30. So then click on OK. So our pa first part is got completed. So let's add this datum planes. So now as you can see here the single curve is in opposite direction. So we need to pattern it for 30 numbers that we have created for these curves. So this mirror curve go for the pattern as an axis pattern. So view for axis display. Select this axis. And you enter the same number which you have entered for that part to get clear view. Then click on OK.
So yes, our part is got completed. As you can see here, so this is called as curling. Curling. So this curling is used to create like this. So it is used for holding the parts without any slip. So as you can see here, it is very closely. So you can increase this pitch value by decreasing that value. So as we have entered 150 pauses for this pitch. So if you want more gaps, you can also enter high number like 200 for this pitch. So thanks for watching guys. So if you want more videos related mechanical engineering or any other content, you can comment below. And don't forget to like this video guys.